Hello, my monstrosities. Hello once again. Today I bring to you a DVD PCB 7.7 .7 review. This was a lot, so I enlisted the help of friend of the channel, the true Neoteric. You will see his links in the description and um, his at in the title. Thanks to Neo for helping with all of this. Because this was something I was not able to do by myself, especially when nobody wanted to play Survivor, and I can understand why. So let's get into it. First and foremost, the things that Behavior really wants to tell us about, uh, screw actual things that we actually play with and everything, they really want us to know about the new store! Rotating Carousel... Ugh, look at how the how it flows out here. Like, watch right here. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I don't like the. I don't like that. I don't know why it's throwing me off, but I I don't like that. So the new store. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, it's very empty. Like, maybe just make the icons just straight up bigger and things like that. Like, the organization is better, but it's very empty. And functionally, it's kind of, kind of garbage. Okay, I don't think I like opening there. I think it should start here. Why is there a... Oh, okay, so now you... That's a bit complicated, no. Okay, so there's select over there. Let's go... Bam. Select. Oh. Okay, what did that do? Okay. So this is a little bit more complicated. You would have to know to come click, bam, unknown, then after you've gone there, then go to customizations, and then bio, as opposed to just scrolling down, clicking on the person, and then ba -da -da -da, all of Freddy's, uh, okay, terrible example, all of Oni's customizations over here. And I didn't even find the Shrine of Secrets off rip, like I didn't, as you might have seen, I, I didn't cover that immediately so store is it, the store exists right the store exists um and i i don't know how you go hey undo what you did to the store i like my old store better i i didn't enjoy that and it's not like i love the old store that much but that one is just uh the needs needs toning but for the biggest thing actually the twins update Holy, twins got an update, did they? <coughs> I told you, twins were probably better than everybody was belly aching about. I don't think any of us saw this coming. Like, this bad. For you, those of you that don't know, Victor no longer latches onto healthy survivors, can no longer be kicked after successful pounce attacks, now latches onto people that get put down, but comes back to you automatically after 20 seconds. Um, you get haste while Victor is holding somebody, either in a locker or down, but you lose it if you hit somebody. Victor's grunts are on the visual heartbeat. You glow red when you can be kicked, and white when you can't you can also call that victor at any time you are in theory able to switch between victor and charlotte near a hook survivor but you can't deploy victor still while near a hook survivor so you know watch out for that and also you do the thing with singularity where i would hope that they stop doing this
Because now there's an anti-hook camp meter? Anti-camp hook meter? Where you go slow if you just so happen to be in the vicinity of it. So I hate that. Remove that. Stop putting that in places. You have something to combat camping. So don't just make a feel bad moment because, oops, it turns out I was a millimeter too close while chasing somebody else in this house or something. Don't like that. Um, add a new icon to represent the moment when Victor can be recalled. Victor no longer reveals survivors with killer instinct while latched on. They said that, but I definitely had a moment where something funky happened, so we'll see. Um, decrease the time it takes to switch back. This was quality of life for these three. Don't know why I was ever 3-1-1 one, one for some of these things. And increase the cooldown for Victor to come back after being crushed to 10 seconds was 6. Twins are busted right now. It's insane. They... I think they went and created a different legion. Where once you realize that you're better off just tagging as many healthy survivors as you can, you're fine. Now, with Legion, you don't, well, you have information of where the next person is. And you can also vault after survivors. Um, because, as Neo reminded me, <laughs> if you just vault back and forth against uh, Victor, so you might have a bad time. Oh, uh, the Victor might have a bad time. Now, on the other hand, Victor isn't on a power timer in the sense that, you know, with friends, he was just like, all right, I got to tag somebody else. My power runs out. Victor doesn't have that. And Victor doesn't have information, as I already said. Right. So, twins. If you like Legion, you might like the twins. And I guess that's their theme for multiple killers. I really wanted to give a more in-depth thing when it came to the twins. Because, like, how do you fix this? The only thing that I thought about fixing is that instead of Victor automatically returning to Charlotte after 20 seconds, and this, this being, like, a true statement, you make this a sometimes true statement, and you cannot recall Victor until after 20 seconds of them being latched on the ground. Because you just have insane snowball if you actually want to. So yeah, that's twins. And their add-ons, you know, a lot of this is non-factors. This one is just straight up a non-factor. But this one, pounce attacks and flick broken for a minute. And you already want to do hit and run now with Victor? Please. I don't know why they... Why they... Why they do... Why they do that? Right? Like, just make it downs. With Victor and Flick Broken for a minute. Or something. I don't... What it is now? Knees tweaking. That... That's insane. And for the iridescent pendant, I'm surprised I haven't seen more people using it. The way people talk about, oh my gosh, if you just do all the things with all the things with the haste and the who and the ha. Right? So, each time Victor injures a survivor with a pounce attack, increase Victor and Charlotte's movement speed by 2%. This can only reach a maximum of 8%. This effect is lost when putting a survivor in the down state. Do you need it? No. Should it be here? I guess. But this, this should be the eerie if we're talking eeries. Goodness. Insane. Then we went to Blight. And at first I thought everybody was crazy. I'm like, no, what do you mean? They didn't really buff Blight like that. There's no way they did that. No, they did that. This stuff together? Insane.
threaded nux decreases time to recharge the rush token by 0.33 seconds to remove the downside. Don't know why they did that. And I really don't know why they did these. Right? Like, I get they're purple, so they should be better. But increasing the initial rush duration by one second, increasing that initial rush's speed by 10%. That's a lot of wiggle room when you combine them together. And only dedicated Blight mains can tell me how good this is. Thankfully, Neil pointed out a spot to me on uh, Mortigo that usually gives um, some funky feedback. And it still is a bit funky. Not as funky as he told me as it used to be, but it was still funky. And I'm so sorry about Ultimate Weapon. If they didn't put this line in, I, I would have told you that they actually buffed it instead of it being a nerf. But now Ultimate Weapon activates for 15 seconds, has a cooldown of a minute, and during those 15 seconds... You will only reveal the survivor's ore for three of them. <laughs> Neo did remind me that it inflicts blindness, so it does still inflict blindness. Hooray. Um... But now my question is, what the flip were they thinking by making it so that you have to find that person for three seconds? Like it should just be continuous aura reading like nurse's healing, a nurse's calling, sorry. Like during those 15 seconds, you should just see the person. But this, if you're not looking the right direction, for those three seconds, when somebody's in your radius, it's it's so garbage. Take this line out. It's not even that much of an issue. This, this was the issue, apparently so tough. Even though, hey, it was mutual. You both know, you know. But hey, I guess not, right? I'll, if behavior wants to fix scream and interacting with other perks, that's another thing. But... For ultimate weapons fix, this needs to come out. That was terrible. Decisive strike. I called this one too in the way that I hope that they don't, but that's exactly what they did. They added a new animation. But the duration of that stun is definitely still about three seconds. It's definitely still about three seconds. And the animation is probably the other two. Because that... Now, mind you, I don't want old DS back. But what they said this is, isn't what it is. So, hey, there's that. Adrenaline didn't really test it. Congrats to the adrenaline lovers. Haddonfield. It's different. Does it seem better? Yes. Marginally better. But I'll take it better than not good at all, right? I'll have to play on it more before I actually say if. I can love Haddonfield. Then we come to gameplay mechanics. The unhook interaction may no longer be canceled partway to avoid being able to keep someone on the hook maliciously.
a lot of people read this as the bad guy can't stop people from unhooking. Um, no. In fact, now mind you, I, I kind of immediately caught on after I read it out loud. Um, the survivors, you know, they said hook maliciously, right? Okay, yeah, no, that should have been hey survivors, yeah. Um, but now while they're trying to fix BMing people, which hey. Not that much of an issue when it comes to this particular interaction. They've just ruined Endgame for survivors to an extent. Because now, there's no, like, baiting out the swing and, like, oh, I'm actually going to go for it. Now, I guess you don't have to worry about that anymore since you can't be grabbed off of the unhook. But why, right? Now, it's just a straight tap. You full sin, you gotta commit, and now you can't dodge like a uh, killer swing if you were just going to bait it out real quick, like, oh, I'm about to get the unhook and run away from the person. No. Or if the killer was, like, further away and you're like, oh, I actually can't commit to this one, one, uh, one for one, and you, like, want to cancel, no, you are getting that unhook, and now you are getting hit for it. So, that, I think that needs to be reverted, if I'm being honest. Now, who cares if you're maliciously doing the unhook interaction, right? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. And then the generator damage interaction has been reviewed so that the gen is actually damaged closer to the point where the hit lands to prevent accidentally letting go of the input early. I'll take your word on it. Then there's a whole bunch of bug fixes that they fix bugs. We like when they fix bugs, right? But then they somehow managed to create many, many more. This PTB was a doozy, and also... You might notice I have another tab open. That's because I wanted to see if I just completely missed this. No. Just they didn't say that that's what they were doing, which is why I would have said it's a buff. And what would have kept it as a decent perk. But now, ultimate weapon is garbage. So... That's the 7.7 .7 PTB, and that's also it for me. Tell me what you think about all of this, because I have no clue. Oh, also, that explains why I have 6,000 Oryx sales. Um, because they want you to test out the store. Don't know if I need to do it that tough, but hey, and the free gift was BP, so it is what it is. But yeah. If you like the video, like it. Got a comment for me, comment. And until next time, peace out, my monstrosities.